Today I am going to install my new Adams Arm gas piston system on one of my AR-15s. So the first step is you want to go ahead and take your upper off of your lower receiver on your AR like I've done here. And see here's the lower and you just put that over to the side. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove the bolt assembly and set that to the side and just toss those parts over and the part we're going to be taking out is basically this front piece and this gas tube and replacing them. So take your flash hider off. I already loosened this one to make it easier but unscrew your flash hider because if you don't unscrew your flash hider there's no way you're going to be getting this piece off the end of the barrel. All right. Alright, well, I guess I can leave that on. It's no big deal. Alright, then mine is not pinned. Mine is actually held on by two Allen keys on my DPMS. So, grab my Allen wrench here. And I'm going to go ahead and man, they're on there tight. There we go. Make sure to get the right size. You don't want to strip these things. If you strip them, you're going to have trouble. All right, there's one. Okay. And there's the second one. And, yep, I didn't need to take that off. So. Once I got that little piece off the end there, which I got to add a little more bluing on here because I scratched it. Once I got that little pain in the rear and washer off the end, then that just slides right off and so does the cover. Now we're ready to install the new cover and the new cover is different. And the reason is, is it has to clear uh, where the tube goes through and it's different. So we're just going to slip that cover on there. like so. We're going to take the new Adams Arms gas block and we're going to slide it on. Okay, and then we're going to basically tighten that down just a little bit to where it's not where we have to actually move it a little bit with force. Okay, so let's see how that is. Yep, okay, still can move it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sight down the barrel and make sure that the flat tops match, just like sighting in a gun. All right, that's pretty close. If I'm wrong, I can just loosen the rings afterwards. Let's go ahead and tighten these a little bit more to hold it in place. Make sure it's all the way back. Flat again. 
tighten it down. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Now we just want to take the uh, rod here and make sure. Slip it in from the front like that. sure that's okay you can slip this back in if you like So now we have our rod in place where it looks like it's free moving. So the gas block is in position. Now we just have to take it back apart again. And when we take it back apart, Once we take it back apart, now the real trick is we have to put in a tiny little piece. This tiny little piece is going to go from the back into this hole right. This There's a hole right in there. And in order to get it in there, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little silicon grease on it. And we're going to hook it to this little thing, and then we're going to tap it in. Which I didn't bring a hammer, but that's okay. I'll get one if I need one. All right, where's my silicon grease? Here it is. So you put a little bit of silicon grease on the end of your uh, rod. Okay, and the reason for that is now that little piece will stay on the rod. Kind of like a little bit of glue, but not really glue. Okay. This is just plain white lithium. It's white lithium grease is what I'm using from uh, Lowe's. So anyway. All right, so now I'm going to take this and the little rod here. I'm going to slide it into that hole. Make sure it's nice and level. So now I have my slightly bigger hammer. And I'm going to take this bad boy here. And I'm going to whack it into place. So I'm just tapping it in ever so gently. get it flush almost there Okay, that looks flush. What we'll do here now is we'll take the Adams Arm bolt carrier group 
We'll slide it in to test it to make sure that the bolt will go all the way in. Okay, looks like the bolt is going all the way in. So, it's all right. Eh, it could go in a little further, I think. Okay, so now line up our timing. We take our rod, slide it through the timing hole there. All right, very good. Seems to be straight dead on. Take our gas port. Control key. I don't know if that's really what the name is of it, but that's what I'm going to use. There we go. That baby snapped into place. This appears to be moving freely. Alrighty. So, looks like we have that installed. Now, Next step is they make special hand guards for these so that there's enough clearance. And the hand guards are always the ones that are the toughest to get on. Let's see if I can do it. There we go, there's one. These hand guards have extra relief on them. To clear the gas rod that's higher than the normal one because that one curves and isn't straight. There we go. Now you have your upper with a new gas piston system in it with the rod sticking through and now what you have to do this is going to be a little dirty but you have to take your other bolt apart and put the parts that are missing into the new bolt. So, step number one, remove that retaining key. Now spin the side key. Oh wait, firing pin. Now spin the other key to the side. If you don't know how to do this, there's other people with videos on it. Okay, pull that out. Now this piece is out. Okay, so we want to take the spring that came with the system. There's one more little spring here, and that spring is designed to go right on the end of this, right here. So now when we stick this piece in here, it is going to be spring loaded. Okay, so now we're going to take this right here, slide it in like so. Take the firing pin. I'm going to drop the firing pin in. Then we're going to put the firing pin retaining pin in. Wow, looks like we got a functional bolt. Okay, firing pin's not going out. All right. So, now we take this bolt. And we take our new Adam's arm bolt. Slide it in, 
take our lower receiver, pin the two back together, and voila! Only thing left to do now is to basically screw back on the flash hider. This uh, flash hider, if it looks weird, it's because it's a uh, it's for my suppressor, so I can put the suppressor on it fast. It's a quick release flash hider from Yankee Hill. All right, so there you are, one fully assembled piston-driven AR now. Direct impingement to piston. Oh, and the reason I'm switching to the piston on this one is because the suppressor increases uh, back gas pressure. So every time I fire it with direct impingement, it blows hot gases into my right shooting eye and makes me blink. So it's really annoying. It's kind of like when you get that test for glaucoma at the eye doctor when it blows in your eye, except it's a hot gas and it's a gun doing it and it's uh, basically uh, uh, hot smoke blowing in your eye. So uh, I'm going to go give this a try tomorrow. So have a good one. Hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it went a little longer than I expected. It's the first time I've uh, put one of these in. <clears throat> All right. So uh, this is actually the day after I did the first part of this video. I went out to the range and I couldn't get the uh, weapon to function quite right. So I went back and looked at the instructions and it turns out that I forgot to do one little thing. And I'm going to show you guys this, because uh, if you don't pay attention, you'll make the same simple mistake that I did. So, <clears throat> right here, the bolt carrier, the sorry, the uh, this little piece that goes inside the bolt uh, that has the extractor attached uh, that shoves the round in the chamber, it has a little spring on it that comes with the kit. That spring has to be there. Well, what I didn't know is right here, this little part, is where there are three tiny little uh, washers that help hold the pressure inside. And let me show you on this other bolt so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you'll see the two bolts together, uh, you'll see the little silver things there. Those three little silver washers have to be taken off and you just take a pocket knife and, and peel them off real gentle-like. Uh, they're just like uh, the rings that go on the top of uh, your pistons in your car, which I guess probably most of you don't know what those look like either. But anyway, you pull those off because they cause friction. So if you leave them on, basically this thing isn't going to want to move. See, it doesn't want to move when it's all the way back. It doesn't want to really move. It gets stuck in the back of its position. So you pull that off those little rings off and then when you stick it in see look at that it bounces boing 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 but see when I did it I left the rings on and see see it occasionally un it causes a vacuum so it occasionally unvacuum itself and it'll pop forward but for the main part it just gets uh, stuck in the rear position most of the time. It doesn't want to go free floating. So take these three little rings off of it and then when you put it in it will it will want to bounce freely like a piston which is what you want. Me, me.